Last week on the Model Remodel Show, Ben and Rick were interlocking mud sills and setting the backbone for the floor system so that they could frame and sheathe the deck. They used a trusted old product and a shiny new one. Uh, Vantech is our subflooring of choice on all of our projects. New for us on this installation is, is we got to try out their new aerosol can adhesive, which is really uh, all in all after using it today, uh, we're going to keep using it. All in all, it was a good week. We have a flat and level floor to frame the walls at Professional Remodelers Model Remodel. This week, we'll try out some thick sheathing panels, which create a continuous insulation layer on the outside of the walls. After running the heat loss calculations on walls with two inches of insulation on the outside, stepping up to two by sixes for framing didn't make much sense, so Ben framed the walls with two by fours. One of the leakiest parts of a house is where the floor meets the walls in the foundation. Well-planned wall sheathing can seal the gaps, cracks, and holes. One way that Ben tightened up the house was with construction adhesive under the rim joist and up the corners. Huber's new foaming subfloor adhesive was used to glue down the Advantech subfloor. Walls are framed as usual, but before adding sheathing, seal the gaps with silicone sealant. The Zip System R sheathing should span all the layers. Last, the corners and seams are taped for a tightly sealed and well insulated wall. Framing the walls is straightforward. First, they lay out the wall plates on the deck and then they spread out the studs. Walls are framed like normal, with Ben nailing one end and Rick nailing the other end of the wall. With his end complete, Rick moves over to the cut station and cuts headers, cripples, and sill plates, while Ben flushes them up and nails them in place. He also doubles the sill plate. I like having two sills underneath the window. I think it gives a more solid sill to support the window and then also if you're doing window trim it gives you something that you can attach your apron to a little bit easier. The inevitable obstacle this week is that the special order four inch sheathing nails required for these thick panels had not been delivered yet. Rather than stand around and wait for FedEx they decided to stamp the walls. If the deck is level, you can plumb the corners and expect the walls to be relatively square right out of the gate. Now comes the insulated zip R sheet. The first thing Ben and Rick do is tape the bottom edge to seal it against air leaks. Rick then rolls it tight before adding a second layer to seal the edge of the OSB. Then they use a builder's level to locate the top of the first course of sheathing. Oh no, sorry. I'll, and I'll they snap a line. Before installing the panels, however, Ben runs a bead of silicone along potential air leaks in the floor-to-wall connection. Now, it's just a matter of putting it on the line and nailing it, over and over again. To cut the thick panels around doors and windows, they use a 10-inch skill saw. which looks pretty cool in slow-mo. And then they install the panels and nail it. Outside corners are left off for now because they need to make continuous and inspectable connections from the foundation all the way to the roof before covering it with wall sheathing. Speaking of the roof, that's what we'll cover next time on Professional Remodelers Model Remodel, when Ben and the crew set trusses and sheathed the roof. <laughs>